All right, people, welcome back. Welcome back. This is going to be the very first fighter showcase in UFC 4. And this fighter showcase is going to be for UFC 252, which, of course, the main event is Daniel Cormier versus Stipe Miocic, the third fight. Uh, in the first fight, DC, of course, was able to stop Stipe. Second fight, Stipe was able to stop DC. And uh, this is going to be the, tr the, the trilogy. And, of course, we're all looking forward to it. But before we actually get to that, we have um, a few more interesting fights in the main event to look out for. Um, of course, we have uh, Sean O'Malley in there. He's going to be facing Ver Ver Vera. I think Vera is the right name to say his last name. Um, which is a very, very competitive fight. A, a, a vastly more competitive fight than a lot of people might think. Like, I'm really looking forward to that fight. I think it's... If that fight is not a challenge for Sean O'Malley, then I'm going to be ext extremely surprised because I think that one's that one's has a huge potential to be a challenge for Sean O'Malley. And of course, we know how talented Sean O'Malley is. And then we also have uh, Junior Dos Santos versus Jarzinho Rosenstrike. Jarzinho Rosenstrike is the man that we're going to be using today. I'm looking forward to that fight as well. And uh, without wasting any time, I'm going to just go ahead and jump into into online fights here now one more thing to point out i'm not going to be doing this in in ranked and the reason for that is you know this time around um ranked is only going to be one weight class per day so every single day the weight class is going to change that's going to affect the way that i do videos on this channel it really will it's going to affect a lot of series it's going to affect the um random fighter select series it's definitely going to affect fighter showcases unless the fighter showcase actually falls on the exact weight class that just happens to be the weight class we're playing for that day i believe today the weight class in ranked is actually uh flyweight as you can see right there the weight class is flyweight i have nothing to do with flyweight um so we're just gonna have to do this thing in quick match until they either fix this and if, if they don't fix it, then a vast majority of our fighter showcases would just have to happen in quick match. So, um, here we go, quick match. We're going to go with MMA, of course. And for settings, we, we can allow calves. That's okay. Um, any clock is okay. Number of rounds. It is a three-round fight, so we're going to go with three rounds. And um, I'm going to go ahead and unselect all of these and we are only going to select the heavyweight division because i only want fights in the heavyweight division uh, rivalry on and uh that's it we're good to go let's go ahead and search and see what we can find now i've been fighting the ai this whole entire time and we've I, i've done a few online fights but for the most part it has been against the ai in career mode so we're going to have to adjust to fighting a human player. All right, where is Jarzinho Rosenstrike? Where is he? Did I miss him? No, that's Derek Lewis. Oh, hold on. There he is. There we go. Let's go. And we are facing Francis Ngannou. That's a good fight. Of course, the last fight, the last time that we saw Jarzinho in there, he was, of course, fight, fighting Francis Ngannou. And I think the biggest mistake he made in that fight was as he was moving backwards and Francis was moving forward with the combinations, rather than move backwards with his head movement and his footwork and get out the way, just like we saw Stipe. Oh my god, really? That's, um disappointing that's one more thing about this about rank I mean, about playing online right now you, you don't get to choose what venue you're fighting so now we're in fighting in the uh, in, in the committee All right. All right, let's relax Let's do exactly what I said that he should have done. Be careful. 
Careful with it. Where are my counters, bro? Like, what's... <sighs> Set him down right there. Get up, buddy. Another one. Relax. Relax. Now ah, there's the there's the uppercut. There we go. He's probably gonna go for a head kick right here, most likely, because he sees me. Nice. That's a nice hook right there. I think he's gonna go for a head kick. Because he can see me leaning that way. Maybe we can bait it. Like, keep leaning that way to get him to throw a head kick. Alright. He goes for a hook. He really loves his hooks. And then what I'm trying to do right now is to duck under and maybe come up with a straight. But the, but the straight, I've landed a few times right now. And it's not really doing the damage I wanted to do. Try again. Go ahead. Throw it. Okay. Not bad. And I'm just, I'm trying to let him just, just blow his wad. He's throwing so much, throwing so many combos, and I'm not going to exchange with Francis. Even though my fighter is powerful, we're not about to start exchanging with Francis at all. There we go. There's a the stamina. Go. There it is. That's what I needed to do. Yep. That's all I was looking for. That's all I was looking for. Keep swinging that hook over and over again. Duck on there. Come over the top with the cross down the pipe. And we get him out of there. I am hoping that the next one we get is not going to be in the Kumite. That's that. I don't want that. Yeah, of course. Good fight, buddy. Good fight. Now this is a good, um, this is a very good addition to the game, the ability to send messages to each other. I like that. I do think they should add more messages, they should probably add a, little, a few sassy ones, because like every single message right there is like, most of them are really positive, you know, like if you go, if you click R2, it's all like positive rematch, add me, good fight, well played, close one. I want to see something like, you know, maybe not straight up rude and vulgar and insulting but something with a little bit more spunk to it you know all right we are going to move on that was a very good first one see if we can get about get about four fights four fights in quick match with Jarzinho and then we're gonna move on search for an opponent and um, I think when I do record online fights I'm going to probably just leave it raw like this with not too many edits i don't know if you guys enjoy that it depends on how long it takes me to find a fight like if it takes forever to find a fight like right there right now like it's happening right now then i'm just gonna skip ahead until we get to the fight so i'll just do that all right, coming up next, it's a heavyweight clash all right welcome back to another one this is gonna be fight number two we are facing dc and i said this I said this before, UFC 4 is not a game where you can just afford to just play striker. You know, you just can't do that. Add you. What the hell? So, if this man takes me down repeatedly, I'm gonna have to return the favor. Like, I can't just, like, play, play the striker against him. Push him back. There's a leg kick. The 
denied that. I knew he was going to shoot right there. his legs a little bit toss him boom there we go there's the body nice Cannot believe he got that takedown. Truly can't believe he got that takedown. Let's get up. Nope. He's gonna shoot. There we go. That's fine. Yep, there's a scramble. He is really wasting his time and his energy trying to take me down too much. There we go. Missed. So the body. Nice. Relax. Relax right there. Get up. Toss him. There we go. There's a hook. Beautiful. That's a good first. Good first round. And I'm not I'm not talking much because man um it's <laughs> I'm just not comfortable with this game yet man I'm not comfortable with this game at all I can tell you that and there's so much going on too like you have so many different things to worry about this time around on like in UFC 3 where for the most part you just have to worry about striking and like defending takedowns in UFC 3 so much easier Uh-huh and what I'm doing right there is when I do counter and put him in that over under clinch. Sit him down right there. When I counter and put him in the over under clinch, I don't start moving forward. Oh, hold on. Got him. Done. When I, when I put him in that, that little um, single under hooks, I don't start moving forward right away because when I start moving forward, he starts moving backwards, he escapes the clinch easily. I just I stand still and I bang away at his body a little bit. And he wasn't moving. Fire, buddy. Let's move on. Also, like... If I'm playing quick match and somebody wants a rematch right away, I'm going to give him a rematch. Especially if it's like a good player. Because I'd want a rematch if you beat me, that's for sure. So we we will definitely be doing returning the favor. You know, if I get a win and you feel like, hey, this is, this is, I can get this back. I can definitely get this back. Then I'll be more than happy to, uh, to run it back. All right. Be right back with the next one. Man, can you imagine how fun this fight would actually be if it were to happen? Anthony Rumble Johnson in the heavyweight division versus Jarzinho Rosenstrike. Can you imagine how fun this would actually be? Truly. And I think 
Anthony Johnson's character model in the heavyweight division is really good. All right. Nice check. Oh, nice fake. Okay. Head kick. Okay. With throwing kicks. He's going to start. Yep. What he's doing is going for head and body. The head body mix up. That's good. Nice it. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if if he actually knows what he's doing, or if he just looks like he knows what he's doing. I don't know if this man knows what he's doing or if he just looks like he knows what he's doing. He gets it, he gets a takedown. What? Yeah, this man doesn't, he's just, he's kind of just, I think he's just all over the place. Like, I'm not sure he actually knows exactly what he's doing. Yeah, he's, um, he's, he's kind of role-playing a little bit. But I, yeah, I don't think he knows what he's doing. Of course, that doesn't mean that I'm going to underestimate him one bit. Yeah, look at that. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, my God. This is the guys you worry about right here. These are the guys you worry about. You got to worry. Yeah, look at that. Look at, look at, look at that. He's... <laughs> the, the player that just kind of wings shots. All right. Let's just... I'm, I'm gonna respect him. I'm not gonna take it for granted. Because this is the heavyweight division. And the last thing I won. Uh huh. Overhand? Alright. Yeah, last thing I want is to make a mistake and get hit with something crazy. See that? He's like circling to the right and just winging overhand. <laughs> and he actually was able to rock me because of it. If I was using someone like a grappler, that's the type of guy you take down. You just, you, you avoid all of that craziness on the feet. You just, you ground them and get, and just get rid of them. Because on the ground, that's where they... Uh-huh. I don't know why I just switched to low block right there. I don't know why I keep doing that. Set him down. Alright. Just knee him right here. Yep. I figured. Uh-huh. Yeah. He didn't really know what he was doing. He was dangerous, though. He was super dangerous. He was using a dangerous, dangerous character. And he was winging shots. So. Let's move on. I think we're going to have time for one more fight, and we should be good. Level up. Alright, I'll be right back with the next one. Now, the beautiful thing about Quick Match that I think we're all going to see if I, if I have to keep playing in Quick Match, apart from the fact that you're going to run into a lot of players that don't really know what they're doing, but I think the variety of fighters is going to be a breath of fresh air. Because you're not going to be running into a lot of players using, like, the highest rated characters all, all, all the time. Like, I mean, look at this. We're about to face 
about to face uh, Derek Lewis. So, nice jab, nice leg kick. Nice, 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 baby. I like it. Okay. I like the way. Oh. I like the way, see what I like about this man right now is that the fact that he is just throwing two shot, two shots. One, two, one, two. There we go. Now he's gonna throw. And doing a good job of sticking the jab out. go there we go let him go let him go nice This man is good. Now these leg kicks he's throwing. I like it. him down another one relax nice oh relax back up back up a little bit uh-huh lunging in with that You got it, baby. You got it. Good shit. Good first round. Good first round. Boom. Boom. Drop him with the left hook. He was he's doing a really good job with the lead leg kick. With that lead leg kick he keeps throwing, he's doing a really good job with it. Finally, we run into someone that kind of knows what he's doing. Not kind. I mean, he knows what he's doing. Push him down. And he blocks properly. What? There we go. Throw the leg kick. There we go. Uh-huh. Bang him with a knee. No, he escapes. Throw it. Throw the leg kick again. Throw it. Throw it, baby. You know you want to do it. You know you want to do it. Smart. There we go. That should do it. No. Circle with him. Missed.
Relax. Throw it again. Throw the leg kick. You know you want to. If it throws a leg kick again, I'm gonna blast him with an overhand. And that should be that should be it. All you have to do is throw it. He landed that one. <laughs> Throw it. Just one more. One more leg kick. One more leg kick, brother. You know you want to. Push him back. Now throw it. Waiting. I, I, I give. I give. I give it to this man. He throws it. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna go for a head kick so you can. Come on, you wanna throw the leg kick? <laughs> I give it to he throws he throws that lead leg kick perfectly. His timing with it is just a plus, a plus plus. He made one mistake of, of of whiffing it, but he hasn't really whiffed it. That's a head kick. Another one. Come on, baby. to the body a kick can't believe what just happened to me I could probably yeah there we go come on that should be it that should be it there we go good fight brother good fight good fight I didn't send him great fight and we are going to end it right here four fights with Jarzinho Rosen strike that does it. Watch that. Boom. Beautiful cross to sit him down. I really, really love his approach to this fight. It was really good. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. And yeah, man, the more we get comfortable with UFC 4, the more we can relax. Right now, I'm so tense. Like, I'm so, like, oh, just worried about everything because there's so much, just so much more to worry about. You know, you got to worry about the different... You know, he shoots on you. Is he going to try to turn the corner? Is he going to go left? Is he going to go right? Is he going to put you in a clinch? And when he gets you in a clinch, is he going to knee your body? Is he going to go to your head? Is he going to try to take you down from the clinch? And then with the striking on the feet, your block is easily broken. There's just the game in a lot of ways. Yeah, come on, man. We're not going to... That's it. I'm not going to... I know I said I was going to rematch... I'll, I'll, I'll keep my word. I'm gonna be. A, I'm gonna keep my word. I said that I was gonna give whoever wants to rematch a rematch. I was about to end this right now, man. I was about to end the episode, but I said if he wants a rematch, he'll get a rematch. So we'll we'll use the same exact character. I know you guys don't mind. You get another. Oh, he's gonna try to wrestle me. <laughs> he's gonna try to grapple me. All right. That works. This should be good practice. Good practice. He's using a pure grappler. I'm using a pure striker. This will be very good practice to see what we can do against the grappler. And like I said before, I'm not just going to be playing runaway striker. 
I can't, you can't do that in this game. So I'm going to approach this like a mixed martial arts fight. So he better expect some grappling himself. He's gonna shoot. There's a head kick. Relax. Chop, chop the legs down. There's a shot. Leg. Nope. Nope. Let's see if I can slip and hit him with a slip uppercut. There we go. Nope. Let him go. No, don't chase him. Ah, that's not what I meant to do. Nope, let him go. No! Uh. Ah, damn. That's why you let him go, because, like, he's going to exchange and actually get a rock. Relax. Mm-hmm. Another one. Switch your stance, baby. You got it. The round is over. That's fine. Boom. Got him. Got him right back. He was able to get that beautiful... It was, uh... Yeah, right there is the exchange. Yeah. I threw an uppercut, and he followed up with a beautiful exchange. I'm going to tell him, well played. Well played. I like that. I like that. So every time it seems like he's, like, retreating and backing up into his shell, I'm not going to chase him. Because he gets very dangerous right there. Like, right there. You know, he's backing up like that to draw me in. Another one. Yep, right there. He plants and he rips. The man is smart. Uh-huh. 
Nice. Set him down. I don't want to get on top. Awesome. Come on, baby. He's going to throw a head kick because he's anticipate. Okay, he goes for a leg kick. No. He's about to shoot right there. Nope. Go back to Ortho. Hmm? No. Nothing there. I like to sneak that in from time to time. Nope. Nice body kick. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful head kick at the end right there. <clears throat> He's not shooting as much as I thought he would. Which, I don't know if it's because he's not comfortable with it. I don't know what it is. Relax. Sit him down. That should be it. There we go. Alright, that's it, brother. That's it. That's it. We are going to end this right here. Got him with that jab straight. Boom. Fire off the head kick planted. Floor him. And we got him out of there. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, do not forget to leave a like. Watch that head kick. Boom. Through the guard. I got him out of there. Now, the problem he was having is every time he got me overcommitted to the front, he was throwing a moving head kick as opposed to a planted head kick. If I could give him advice, I would say... Every time he attempts to go for that head kick through the guard, I would throw planted. Even if you whiff the head kick, you will be far away from me to where I'm not going to really be able to counter too much because I've already backed up too much. But if you come at me with a lunging head kick, one, it's going to be a little bit too slow. By the time it gets to me, my fighter's block is no longer going to be overcommitted. It's easier to read. I could duck it. There are a lot of different things I could do with it, but I mean, this, this man is good. He knows what he's doing. And uh, this is exactly what I was hoping to, to see in Quick Match. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching, people. I will see you guys later with a brand new one. As always, stay safe. Have a wonderful day.